Hey guys, this is American Wire. Check out this amazing lawmaker who refuses to be bullied by this race baiter. Can I ask you what you identify as? Identify? Ethis, eth ethnicity. I identify as an American. Not uh, an African American? Yeah. Okay. Or are you African American? Ladies and gentlemen, I will remind the body the remain poised with the quorum. There will be no celebrations. I wish you could meet my daughter, since you say it's equal, and she has a master's degree. I'd be happy to talk and, to your daughter. Yeah, I'm going to introduce you to my daughter, and I'm going to let, you, let her tell you how it's not equal on her job that she has a master's degree. And she has to work for individuals that don't have the same education that she has. Merely because she looks like me. That's not equal. Sometimes when people are so privileged, they want to think that equality and privilege is equal. It's not. I wonder what did it take for you, sir, to get elected out of St. Charles to sit in your seat. I want to hear that story. Yeah, I had to uh, work on my own merits and uh, pretty much promote the principles that I believe in, which is freedom, equality for all, which I believe that America does. And that's how I got elected into my position. I didn't get elected into my position because of the color of my skin or do any, any race baiting stuff that it seems like you're promoting here. Oh, I'm promoting race baiting? I'm promoting race baiting? No, I think you're promoting privilege, tokenism. I didn't, I didn't come from a privileged background. Oh, really? I, I grew up in St. Louis where, County where, where my mother- Where did you grow up at? Tell over me that. In, in Overland is where I grew up, <laughs> in Overland. Wasn't a, wasn't a uh, uh, privileged family at all. Uh, my father passed when I was 12. My mom raised me and three, uh, two of my other brothers. Uh, she was lower, lower income. I had to work my butt off to get where I am today and to- Jamie, are you- this interview just really just got got under my skin. Here this woman is. She has a, a, a full agenda around racism. You can tell. Every single thing she's saying is all about racism. And when she asked the gentleman, what does he identify as? I'm so tired of that word identify. It's like, it's so used so much these days where who cares? You are who you are. But no, she wants to know what is, what is, um, yeah, what does he identify as? He's like, I identify as an American. But she didn't like that. She's like, um, what about African American? You don't identify as African American? I mean, come on. She is totally race baiting him. Totally. And then after she explained her story, her um, about her daughter, and she asked him, um, you know, how he got to his position. Everything he said is what we used to teach our children: work hard, um, you know, stay focused, stay committed. You can achieve anything, right? This is what he did to get to where he is right now. It blew my mind when she said that that was a, a, a example of privilege? Are you kidding me? That was, that was just, uh, that was very frustrating to see that. How can working hard, being committed and focused and, and, and really just going after your dreams be a privilege? It's not a privilege. It's actually a choice everyone has, no matter where they start out in life.